All right, guys, I got another one for you. Uh, I am in John chapter 15. We're going to read from verses 1 all the way through 17. Um, I'll explain afterwards. I am the true vine, and my father, oh, this is Jesus speaking, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another, as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends. If ye do whatsoever I command you, henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth, knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, that ye love one another. Okay, so there's a lot to digest in just this little thing. I'm going to break it down in a very simple format here. Um, not really simple format. Let, let me rephrase that. To put it simply, for Jesus, to abide in you, and you in him, you have to do the commandments. You have to follow the commandments. In abiding him and following the commandments, you're his disciple. In doing so, you also have to bear much fruit. Bearing fruit, what does that mean? You go out and you, you, you bring the good news to people. You speak of Jesus Christ, his walk, and all, all of his ways to people. You tell them the commandments, all of that. You just speak the word of truth, your testimony, all of that. And furthermore, he will choose you and call you friend. Okay? Uh, give me a second here to get a little bit deeper in on this. Okay, so... The last part is the most important part. Remember the fact, and I say last, it's really what this whole thing is focused on, which is love. I made a mistake very recently where I didn't, and I've done this before, and it's usually because of my own fears, uh, where I will, and this is rare for me, very rare, but it only happens with very specific people that are incredibly close to my heart and have heard it various times okay that's the only time that it happens but you're supposed to love and forgive everyone including yourself and show love and forgiveness in the same way jesus does that's how you're supposed to love now the other commandment is also to separate yourself so you're not supposed to abide in the company of sinners. That is something that's in here. But I want to make sure that I cover. Regardless. Of whatever happens in your life. You always do things in love. Even if the word of God is. 
convicting that person and God has shared a specific word to you in his way, we are supposed to do things in love. God's way will be like, I'm fed up with this. Sometimes that's how it is. That's really how it is. But he doesn't call us to be that way. He calls us to be his love. So um, regardless of, of what you read or where you go, remember th these are Jesus' own sayings which come from the Father. At the end of the day, we are supposed to follow the commandments. We are supposed to live by them. Uh, we're supposed to do, do things right under God and Jesus Christ like we're being watched always. You know, and very recently there was a, there's a video I saw that I, there are things that I still don't understand. Um, we could talk about yoga here. We could talk about all these different little things like the, the Kama Sutra, for example. Um, and I'll be honest with you guys, there are things that are extremely unholy in the eyes of God and Jesus Christ that we learned in the wrong ways like knowing how to properly be intimate with a partner never thought that'd be a thing i think about but it, it is something that i am now starting to go down so just keep in mind that we're all learning i'm still learning but understand that even jesus calls us to keep the commandments and his commandments also all right with that said, God bless.